What's up YouTube, Clay here. Let's talk ember mugs. Why you want one and which one you should get. So why an ember mug? People say, all right, we already have thermoses. Just put it in that, that'll keep it warm. And yeah, yeah, it will. But the problem is it'll keep it too warm. You put 180 degree coffee in there, it'll keep it hot, say, next 12, 24 hours. You put McDonald's coffee in there, 280 degrees for the next 24 hours. You want to get that coffee down to 135. Ember mug can do that. The mug has an open air top, which obviously cools it down. Once it hits 135, the ember mug will heat up and just keep it at 135 till it runs out of batteries an hour later. Battery life could be better, but honestly, just put the mug on the included charging pad the whole time. It'll be totally fine, easy. At the same time, we have the ember travel mug. The ember travel mug uses a cooling device internally to cool down the coffee. It takes way longer to cool the coffee down with the travel mug versus the normal ember mug. So Clay, if thermoses keep coffee too hot, then why not use a normal mug to keep it cold? All right, yes, you can use a normal mug um, and it will keep it cold, but then it gets too cold. Two sides of the spectrum, you have the thermos and the mug. Thermoses will keep it too hot, the coffee mug will keep it too cold. Now, the coffee mug obviously will hit the optimal drinking temperature, 135 degrees, eventually. But are you going to drink it right then? Are you going to drink it right when it hits exactly 135? You're probably going to be sipping on coffee as it drops from 150 down to 100 or lower. Talk about unoptimal. Here's my stance on normal mugs. If you want to drink coffee when it's brewed at 180 plus, a normal brewing temperature, you are screwed with a normal mug. You're never going to be able to drink it at the right time. It's going to be too hot or too cold. All right, we're gonna go hunting here in the wild for some non-electric mugs. We have a trusty infrared sensor here. Let's go, come on. All right, I think I see one over there. Check it out, let's move in. I'm narrowing in here. We've got two mugs. One completely random, other the ember mug. Do you think the ember mug is going to be the right temperature or do you think it's the random mug? Let's find out. 110 degrees and dropping. This is not a good mug. This is a horrible mug. You want to drink coffee at that temperature? No. 135, the ideal drinking temperature. Anyway, this is all to say that you need an ember mug. Put it at your desk at work. Coffee in at any temperature and it'll end up at the right temperature. I'm all about inputs and outputs. Input, coffee, bad temperature. Output, coffee, correct temperature. It's simple. Now, dark side tactic. You can actually heat up coffee with it too. Let's say you have 3 p.m. coffee, it's at 100 degrees. You can heat that up to 135. It's not gonna taste good, but at least it'll be at the right temperature. Something else I didn't mention, the ember mug always tells you when it's ready to drink. The display is always on. In contrast, the travel mug, you have to actually press the display to see if it's ready to drink. Now, you don't want to reach all the way over on your desk to see if it's ready to drink. So this is a win for the Ember mug. So should you get the Ember Travel mug? I say no, honestly. Get yourself a thermos, and when you arrive at work, you can just pour that liquid into your normal Ember mug. I have a colleague who uses the Travel mug, and she keeps the lid off the entire time, essentially serving as an overpriced normal Ember mug. There are three prices to consider. $179 for the Ember Travel mug, $99 for the normal Ember mug, and 129 for the larger version of the normal Ember mug. Of these, the clear winner to me is the $129 larger Ember mug. It's more convenient than the slow to cool Ember travel mug and more liquid for your buck than the cheaper $99 smaller normal Ember mug. So should you get the Ember mug, the normal one? Yes, absolutely. If you drink coffee at your desk at a normal desk job, then it's totally the way to go. If you drink tea at your desk, totally the way to go. If you plan on using the ember mug off the charger for more than an hour, then probably not, honestly. Otherwise, get it, it's amazing. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like it. Thank you.